Talks between US firm General Electric and Hindustan Aeronautics are completed, and HAL's engine division Bangalore will be selected to locally manufacture F-414 INS-6 engines under a license agreement. HAL will upgrade the facilities and train its engineers, so that technology of the engine can be absorbed, and the entire supply chain of the engine can be created in India. HAL will also be in charge to provide in-house repair and overhaul capabilities on these engines, and carry out out certification and testing of these engines after major repairs. HAL will also be in charge of training the maintenance crew of Air Force's base level squadrons, to carry out periodic checkups and repairs. The RDO's gas turbine research establishment has developed an improved variant of the full authority digital engine control system for the dry cavalry engine that will power India's first unmanned stealth strike aircraft. And the DRDO is now looking for a production partner for the full authority digital engine control system. The full authority digital engine control system requires multiple input variables from the flight conditions such as air density, throttle lever position, engine temperatures, engine pressures, and many other parameters, to provide the best ratio of fuel supplied to the engine, and allows the engine to operate at peak efficiency under any given condition. The DRDO has started the development of next-generation explosive reactive armor for next-generation main battle tank, and it can be adaptable to any other tank as per the requirement. This third-generation explosive reactive armor has been evaluated against two types of in-service tandem-shaped charge warheads, and tank-fired 125mm fin-stabilized armor-piercing discarding sabot ammunition, and it has consistently been able to reduce the penetration of tandem-shaped charge warheads by more than 50%, and kinetic energy projectiles by more than 30%. INS Vikramaditya, which is an 36-year-old refurbished aircraft carrier, will complete 10 years of service in the Indian Navy by November 2023, and the Indian Navy can operate it for another 10 years. The Navy is seeking approval from the Defence Ministry for 2nd Vikrant class aircraft carrier, and if 2nd indigenous carrier is implemented on time, the Navy can squeeze in 5 more years with INS Vikramaditya if it plays a limited role, and might be turned into a training aircraft carrier by mid-2030 to train future aircraft carrier crew. India, France and the United Arab Emirates have unveiled an ambitious roadmap for cooperation in a wide variety of areas including defense energy and technology under a trilateral framework, which is informally being called as the Rafale Forum, as the Rafale fighter jet is the common link among the three nations. A joint statement has said that it was acknowledged that defense is an area of close cooperation between the three countries, and efforts will be undertaken to further promote compatibility, and joint development and co-production, and seeking out avenues for further collaboration and training between the defense forces of the three countries. Lithuanian officials visited defense research units in India, and saw modernization of defense equipment, and they have stressed on the importance of fortifying defense cooperation for mutual benefit, due to the present state of affairs in Europe and Asia. They also said, that India needs to reduce its dependency on Russian platforms, as most of the Russian platforms are based on outdated soviet era technologies, and should develop platforms based on Western technologies that could be exported to NATO members. They also held discussions with officials from Indian Defence Ministry, exploring possibilities for collaborative efforts in advanced technological cooperation between the two nations. India is also poised to open its embassy in Lithuania, marking its first presence in the Baltic region. Oh,